the new J Jordan Peterson is losing his fucking goddamn mind, dude. I, and I love it. <laughs> I think we need to make an anthology of just Jordan Peterson is unhinged lunatic part one mm. all the way through. Yeah. So that when you guys have friends, family, co-workers who love him, you could just show him any one of these videos and start breaking through. That being said, you know, what's wild too, is that there's two Jordan Peterson things in the doc today, totally unrelated to each other. He's so crazy that I don't even know which one you're referring to right now. So this is the one I saw last night and okay, I was like, yeah. this man is nuts. <laughs> this shit is crazy. dude. So Mehdi Hassan is, uh, what's his, what's his, what's his ethnic background? Oh, he's Middle Eastern. Middle Eastern. I think he's Arab. I'm not 100% He's on definitely that. brown. Uh-huh. So Jordan Peterson, a white fucking, like, Catholic wasp ass, goes, So the tweet was, Tonight this brown Muslim is asking the white conservative community to do the same. Get your house in order. Crack down on the hate preachers. Condemn the right of white supremacy, right supremacist ideology. That seems like a pretty uncontroversial uh, statement. You'd think so. But he gets defensive for some reason. About them saying, chill on hate preachers and white supremacy. Jordan took offense to that. He said, actually, you're not really brown. More like a light tan. Just like, quote, white people. Plus, you're Caucasian by definition, buddy. <laughs> what? Jesus. There's so much going on here. And written like a haiku. Yes, there's so much going on here. What does he mean he's Caucasian? Okay, so you... <sighs> Let's uh, oh read the second tweet first. It'll be more helpful if you see his follow-up, if you scroll down. Okay. Oh, There's okay. a follow-up, and then, and then we'll talk about it, because it's fucking Here, insane. Damn, this guy wrote a whole-ass fucking poem mm -hmm. about racism, <laughs> about being a racist. <laughs> yeah. Have it your way, you boring blovator, bloviator. I don't really care if you think you're green. Fine. You're not Caucasian. You're black or Asian or whatever you want to be. Just like all you bloody progressives. For anyone who cares, here's what Wikipedia has to say. What? 19th century classification of the peoples of India. Okay, is he Indian? He is Indian. Okay. Yeah. We're initially uh, uncertain if the Dravidians and the Sinhalese were Caucasoids. That sounds fucking like some real Nazi shit. Yeah. Caucasoids? Yeah. Or a Hold separate on. Dravida race. But by the 20th century, anthropologists predominantly declared Dravidians to be Caucasian. The Caucasian race. He's a frequent page of his. Yeah, so, um, why don't you, is it in the doc already? The, the link to that Wikipedia page? I think it's actually yeah. instructive to just click on the link that Jordan himself shared. And Jordan, read, a PhD. A PhD. Go ahead and click the source that he cites and read the first line. This no, one? The note? Just, no, just like the beginning of the article. Just read The it. Caucasian race is an obsolete racial classification <laughs> of humans based on now proven theory of biological Dispro race. Now disproven Dis theory. Now disproven theory of biological race. Why? The Caucasian race was historically regarded as a biological taxon, which, depending on which of the historical race classifications was being used, usually included ancient and modern populations from all over Europe, West Asia, Central Asia, South Asia, North Africa, and Horn of Africa. Yeah, what is he... Where, L -O -L. Th this is where some 19th century. This is some 19th century race science. Like, where did he even read that? <laughs> well, so if, if you sc the the part that he uh, screenshotted and shared, because um, that's further down in the article. But it's it, all of this is being talked about in the context of completely outmoded, disproven racial theories from almost two centuries ago. Why did he share that as so he as a gotcha? He quite literally cherry picked. Not even cherry picked, just completely out of context. Yes. Like this was like this was old when he was born. Like when Jordan Peterson was born. Like this was outmoded before he was even around. Let me let me just give this you. This isn't an even idea. like he just remembers this from childhood. Like this was disproven decades and decades ago. This page is actually interesting. Here's the history of the concept of Caucasians, and this should inform you. The Caucasians as the origin of humanity and the peak of beauty. 
Yep, seems seems a little biased. Seems seems legit, right? Every budding beauty. And next, it says the Guten School of History, which I don't like the sound of that at all. <laughs> when I saw that umlaut, I knew this wasn't going to be good. But this isn't even close to 20th century. Like this is not Nazi shit. Even this is like so far beyond that. That was 1780. It said. Why would he just for no reason be like you're not you're you're not brown, buddy? You're white. <laughs> Just like me. So watch your back next time you ask white supremacists to keep a lid on it. Crazy. Crazy ass shit. I could not believe that he shared that Wikipedia <laughs> article. Like, as if... I mean, you know, a PhD sharing a Wikipedia article as, like, proof of anything is already, like, eh, you know? But he didn't even read the thing that he shared. He did, baby. I he actually guess. doesn't care anymore. I guess. What do you guys think of my long hair? How much work to keep out of your face? Is that right, Zach? Uh, you, when I'm like cooking or something, I'll like put it up in like the top knot, you know? So I have a crunchy for me? Crunchy. A crunchy? Yeah, or, a, crunchy. or something? Crunchy. Like. Um, I gave my <laughs> only crunchy to Dan. Yeah, I'm rocking the crunchy right oh, now, I'm well. afraid. Okay. Sorry. All good. But sometimes, like, I'll wear the hat, you know? Right. Like, I, I think I might start becoming a hat guy. Yeah. You've been mentioning You look that. good with hats. <clears throat> Have people Especially noticed? when it says Rolex on it. Yeah. 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 What's it? And there's actually, I hope I'm not spoiling anything, but there's sort of a new persona. Oh, yes. Hat Zach yeah. kind of has a yeah. new persona here that he debuted to us the other uh, day. Not Lou. No, not no, Lou. No, 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 no. Lou's at home. Golf Course Craig. This is Golf Course Craig. You're Craig? Craig? Yeah. yeah. You can do better than Craig. What's wrong with my name? It's my name, pal. <laughs> okay. Craig. I'll see you at the green. All right. I'll see you at the <laughs> will. Uh, so actually, but here's the main Jordan Peterson part, which was he made this video about, we talked about it on Monday. No, today's Monday. Today's Monday. We talked Monday. about it on last week sometime. Friday. That he was ordered to pay 25000 to the board of psychologists in in uh, Ontario, Canada, Ontario, yeah, and take like a training course because he is psychotic and was talking badly about current or no. former clients, mm -hmm. which is obviously a massive violation of ethics. That was actually, I think, the specific reason why it wasn't yeah, because it was, he was transphobic it, or yeah, no. Well, they, were they did. To they, they cited it some was, of that too. Go it ahead. was a long complaint. Yeah, yeah, there was a lot in there. There was uh, specifically when he was on Joe Rogan. He was insinuating that people should just off themselves if they have a problem with climate change or with uh, uh, overpopulation, sorry, and a few other things that just isn't ethical if you're a doctor to be saying. Yeah. Little bitches. So just leave <laughs> like the organization bitches. then, dummy. Like, you're obviously... Uh, because he's juicing off of this. Like, because he doesn't even practice right. anymore. And hasn't since 2017. Is that right, A.B.? Get some. It, it's, uh, he hasn't I believe so. Time. There was another complaint in 2018, which he agreed to straighten out, and he's still doing it. Hmm. The thing is... So, yeah, his framing it like it's trying to control his speech is silly. He's just doing ethical violations. Mm -hmm. Which he knows, or at least should know... That he's obligated to follow. Yeah, I mean, with with get some with a lot of uh, professions like that, like lawyers, for instance, is the one example that you brought up on Friday. There's a bar association. There's yeah. like a professional yeah. standards association, and that exists for his line of work as well. And he violated a lot of fundamental principles. So he's getting the mildest pushback, by the way. Not even threatened to kick out. Just you have uh, to good. chill on your so on your Twitter account a little bit. Right. Like, and he, he still has clinical psychologists in his Twitter bio. Right. So he keeps saying, oh, I'm not even practicing, but you still represent them. Yes. Right. Right. So he put out a 38 minute video of him dressed up like Two Face from Batman, <laughs> uh, raging about it. And Beauty. so last time we didn't get to go through it all, but we've parsed through it now. And we can bring you our favorite moments from Ouchie. Jordan Peterson's meltdown. Ouchie. Literally become the Joker. Literally. <laughs> we'll see who cancels who. Up yours, woke Marlis. Ouchie. My former client was a real B. 
bitch. <laughs> They're like, you can't say that. Up yours, woke moralist. Oh, there was nothing sexual about that. My former client was a real slut. <laughs> she slept around. Maybe and I sat there crying. and judged her the whole time. <laughs> yeah, that's so crazy. All it wasn't that, that much crazier massive. than that. What he did on Rogue. So let's so. see. Jordan shows how touch, out of touch he is multiple times in the video. He misses the entire point on purpose, like we said. With Jay Shetty. On per Man, you're good. For, uh, for example, uh, as a doctor, he has responsibilities. He's not upholding, for example. He should not be talking about someone's weight. Sorry, not beautiful. You mean like posting a picture of a, of a uh, large, uh, over, what's the right word? Oversized doesn't seem right. What do you, I'm not sure what Plus you're size? going for. Like here. a BB-dub? Plus size? A big Curvy? beautiful woman. Just say that, a big beautiful woman. Okay. Sorry. He posted a, beautiful. The, uh, a big beautiful woman. swim illustration with a BB beautiful. dub and said, sorry, not beautiful. <laughs> so here he is, Jordan crying the about the... Vagina. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Jordan's crying about how the college is trying to stop him from having a political opinion, which is insane and uh, obtuse and intentionally misleading. And I mean, my God, ha this man has no... No shame. He is so lost in the sauce. Yeah. Look at him, too. He's just, like, getting redder. His suits are getting crazy. About the situation in Canada, <laughs> I've been thinking about it this morning. As you know, the, the, the court that we appealed the College of Psychologists' decision to decided that the college has... It's within the college's purview to stop me from having any political opinions as far as i can dummy, tell me dummy nope. dumb stupid moron now oh, what's happening this is like basically equal to it's actually even dumber i was going to say people who get banned off twitter and then say free speech is dead right he's it's actually even, even dumber he's not because even they're banned. not even they're not even deplatforming him or trying to censor his speech they yeah. just said you can't make these ethical violations and still keep a license you can you can re, you can recant the license you can step away from the org. Right. Which, again, is why, like, I'm just saying he's just juicing content off of it because it's really, I mean, he's transitioned out of that field of work. He's just a media personality. He's, he works he's a for Daily Wire. propagandist, frankly. Yeah, so you don't need this license. You're just using this to get attention. Up yours, Dan. You mor woke moralist scum. Vagina. <laughs> and, you know, it's kind of a, an interesting parallel, too, to his whole rise to fame. Which was him Beauty. freaking out over the bill in Canada and totally misrepresenting what that bill was in order to ride a wave to, you know, that, that was how he became So he, he knows the power of intentionally uh, yeah. lying or mischaracterizing or omitting, I don't know. Yeah. Because I didn't, when I found out about the truth about what that whole thing was is when I started to turn on him. Mm-hmm. Although he's made it really easy to hate him now, like the past few years. The, right, that was before he really the, uh, started to become like a, a Batman villain. I'm actually proud like, that we dropped him before his villain, Batman villain arc. Right. You know what I mean? We read, we mm. saw it on the wall coming. The decision, which I posted on Twitter and will post in the description of this video, starts out by making a case for the fundamental reality of freedom of speech for Canadians in Canada. And then says... No shit there in Canada. Oh, I guess it, maybe it's not that redundant. But, and that's always a bad start when you're talking about freedom of speech, but apparently what? the college has the right to decide that I can be re-educated forcibly with the risk of my... This man really trying to make it sound like Clockwork Orange where his eyes are being held open with a toothpick while they show him like tr naked trans people. <laughs> Insane... <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. My re-education, it's torture. Yes. It's inhumane. Yes. If I have to re if I have to take a ethics course, humanity is over. It's doomed. That's Auschwitz. It's Auschwitz. It's worse. My license, essentially because I made political statements that the members of the college don't agree with. And those ex those those um, opinions. I doubt he ever actually says what happened. He only speaks in vague shit like, 
re-education, freedom of speech. For the most part, yeah. He's just intentional and misleading anytime it gets into specifics. He never says what the ethic violation was. Does he ever say ethic violation? Um, I think he, he focuses in a lot on the Joe Rogan podcast. Um, because that one, I feel like, feels like he needs to comment on it. Like, he's even encouraging his daughter to, like, bring up, like, oh, you had a few more points you wanted to bring up. That was one of them. This is going back in time, but Bill C-16 did not, in fact, make you using the wrong pronouns in illegal, which is what he claimed, his rise to fame. It's incredible that so many people rode this wave with him, Joe Rogan being one of them, and nobody ever actually was, like, even tried to, like, verify what he said, which is, like, a super outrageous thing. It, it, so if you say something so strong and outrageous, like in Canada, it's now illegal to you not use someone's preferred pronoun, that begs some re- investigation. Yeah, uh, and to be fair, I think there probably were people uh, sounding the alarm on that at the time, but... Um, and... We have to acknowledge that we were part of that. I mean, we had him on our show, and I didn't during, talk to him about that stuff, but yeah, yeah. I mean, but it came up because we we did talk to him. He had those confrontations with the reporters around that time, and we, you know, we did talk about some of his controversy. That interview so. was really bad, to be honest. I went back and watched it recently. Did you really? I haven't seen it in years. It, it, it was. She was so out of pocket. Yeah, just bad. But anyway. Uh, they said rather repeated and or intentional misgendering could already constitute harassment pursuant to human rights and employment law, which only occurs a few areas under federal jurisdiction, such as banking and air travel. His repeated assertion that B- Bill six seven six Bill C sixteen created this offense despite being corrected borders on bad faith. Bor- yeah, I think it's more. I think it's it's yeah. jumped, politely it's jumped the border. Politely worded. <laughs> Jordan claims that one of the reasons he got the complaint is because he went after climate apocalyptic fear mongering. Holy shit. Uh, This is not the case. The complaint literally claims he insinuated people should uh, unalive themselves (laughs) as one of the ethic violations, which I can, I mean, if you're a clinical therapist, probably I can see why it would be against ethics to tell people to kill themselves. (laughs) That's it like kind of the, that's kind of like the the baseline. Yeah. Well, I can see him doing like a one on one with somebody. Well, have you considered killing yourself? <laughs> Jesus. It's a lot easier than dealing with your problems. Uh, it's an easy escape. Just do it. Just real quick, I was just going through because I, I have Jordan Peterson pretty much saying everything. I have more sound bites of him than anybody. Anything in this board? Really? He's the number one. Almost two hundred Jordan Peterson. Holy shit! Whoa! Yeah. Bam. That's more than I would have ever guessed. Yeah. Keeps giving too. Every every week. Yeah. It reads. Here's what it literally said in the complaint. <clears throat> A further complaint about Dr. Peterson. Uh, January second tweet in which Dr. Peterson responded to an individ- individual who expressed concern about overpopulation by stating, you are free to leave at any point. The further complaint provided a link to a 2018 GQ interview in which Dr. Peterson made a similar comment about unaliving. It's right there in the complaint, which... I'll leave that. I'm sure his lawyer read uh, very carefully. Mm -hmm. I'll leave. And him, uh, presumably, too, as a learned man, Ph.D., what a dumbass. So here he is. No, it's the climate change activism. We're coming for My you. My objection on Joe Ro- Rogan to <laughs> the climate apocalyptic fear mongering that idiot tyrants are foisting on the general population. Now, apparently that makes me unprofessional and a uh, disgrace to. That was not what I don't. Was that mentioned in the complaint? Is that just. Like uh, let me double check it. I have it linked here. You know what I mean? I just, I'll I leave. love that all of a sudden Jordan's like a uh, climate skeptic, just for no reason. Like, this man has zero credentials, yeah. and now he's just getting involved of in course. all the right-wing grifts. 
the Why not? You got to toe the party line, right? Uh, I'm looking at the, uh, uh, what do you call it? The judgment that he shared, and I'm just control F, climb it, zero, zero out of zero found. Yeah, why would they? Uh, environment, um, uh, global warming, no. Why would they? It's so stupid, you're lying. You're just lying, dude. To the profession, such that I am now going to be required, the college can go ahead with this, to put me into a re-education program with- Okay, he's making it sound like 1984. It's just like, a, you gotta brush up on your ethics, It's like bro. HR class. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, a, it's like an annoying HR afternoon. Re-education, he's making it sound like, you know, in a torture room where they try to supplant your thoughts with new ones. 1984 style. It's not. There's in reality, some... it's like a, a room with Michael Scott and like a PowerPoint about don't tell your clients to kill themselves. <laughs> Step one. I see you're trying to re-educate me. I'll tell them whatever I want, damn it! Bucko. Bucko? Woke moralist? ...called social media experts, and that's also, by the way, a profession that does not exist, until I learn my... What? Mandatory. This man is non-stop psychotic. He said wait, wait, wait. social media experts don't exist? Precisely. What? Why? Education what? program. Yeah, well, I with went back. so-called social media experts, and that's also, by the way, a profession that does not exist. Why? That's like totally a job, bro. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. it's his job. I mean, that's, that's like he all does. he does. The Daily exactly. Wire. The but, Daily but, Wire is probably full of... Yes. He's self-employed. Online always. <laughs> yeah. Like, like that's Well, I choice. think he, he would consider himself more of a uh, commentator than oh, a yes. uh, online me a, a social media expert. That's what yeah, love but is. You, you just think that it's somebody that spends that much time on social media would understand that there are people that make yeah. a profession out of specializing. You mean like the biggest and most important, like the very fabric of our society? Right. Has yeah, professionals <laughs> about it? It doesn't make any sense. I'm going to see how many times he's tweeted or retweeted things today. Yeah, he dedicates Well, there's time experts to it. There in every field. Yeah. It doesn't make yeah, any of course. sense. Like, what? This man says he's an expert. I use Twitter 20 hours a day, bucko. I think I know a thing or two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the fuck? Until I learn my lesson, whatever that is, regardless of how much time that takes, by their judgment. Or they can take my license away. I think... <laughs> and so the, co the court says, well, of course you have freedom of speech, Dr. Peterson, but because you're a professional... <laughs> you're bound by your professional organization. And apparently they're not bound, even though they're a government organization, fundamentally. Apparently they're not bound by that fundamental constitutional axiom. And he, he's so close to getting it. He was right there. Just because I'm bound to a code of ethics by my profession? <laughs> well, what about them? What code of conduct are they bound to? What is what mean? What does code mean, anyway? And so that shows you, all you Canadians who are listening, and everyone <laughs> outside of the country who might be the least bit interested in Canada, that shows you exactly what our bloody constitution is worth. And if Canadians are so daft that they don't think that that's a... I mean... Ugh, he's so obtuse. 41. 41 times today this man's tweeted? Tweet, tweeted or retweeted something. Holy shit. That he is, is so sick. That is like unwell. He is unwell. Yeah. I mean, we know that, but golly, and nobody in his life is able to stop him. That's Everyone, what, Well, this vulture fucking psychopath daughter loves it because she's built a career off of exploiting. And basically she's female dragon trying energy. To, trying to kill her own father. Utter carelessness of That's the one of the reasons he's so worried about losing his title because now if he loses his title How long until people start to look at him like okay, maybe he's just some fucking crazy guy, right? Right. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean it gives him an air of credibility But that's the issue right is that right. he's using it as a career exactly to create an air of credibility It delegitimizes the field. Yes, that's why they care and Again the Constitution has got nothing to do with it because it's not you can go say whatever the fuck you want just don't do it with us. Or in or while representing yourself as in the capacity of being a professional. 
I, I got to say, I mean, from my perspective, that that board is uh, is right on, man. Good for them. <laughs> yeah. I respect them more. Problem? Well, they're going to figure it out over the next 15 years because there's absolutely no excuse for this. So I'll this section, by the way, is called how how Dr. Peterson is doing. Not well. <laughs> <laughs> I've tweeted 42 times today. <laughs> I'm out of benzos. Um, oh, where did he mention the climate thing? I clicked that. He didn't. We were oh, I guess he briefly mentioned yeah. it. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Uh, further complaint, yada yada. Jordan Peterson complains it's not fair. The psychology organization is not bound by regulations. I think I just read that or listened to that part. Mm -hmm. Jordan says he's not wrong and then continues on to threaten the, cor the courts and the colleges. Cool. <laughs> In Laxium. And so that shows you, all you Canadians who are listening, and everyone outside of the country who might be the least bit interested in Canada. Hey, we that this. shows you exactly what our bloody constitution is worth. Although not much for them. And if Canadians are so daft that they don't think that that's a problem, well, they're going to figure it out over the next 15 years because there's absolutely no excuse for this. So uh, that's what I'm thinking. Now, there's part of me that's thinking, well, look, Peterson, the College look here, of Psychologists Bucko. is after you. You've taken it to court. Now the judges have decided that you're wrong. Maybe you're wrong. Yes. Mm. The whole world, all the different layers of, of the system have said I'm wrong. Maybe I am wrong. Let's hear him out. Am I out of touch? <laughs> no, it's the children who are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Even worse than that, it's like yeah. the, te the children, it's the whole the teachers, world is wrong. <laughs> the organization. And I think, well, I expressed political sentiment, and I'm actually informed. And so, for the life of, I'm really informed. For example, did anyone read that Wikipedia article about the Caucasian race? Remember when he uh, tweeted a porno of the Chinese dick sucking factory? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was so sick. <laughs> That's my favorite. What Jordan a Peterson. psycho. Well informed here. <laughs> Me? I the, can't see how I'm wrong. The, that happened. That yeah, happened. That he happened. tweeted a video of like a fetish video of like 20 dudes getting milked by a machine. <laughs> and he was like, my God, China is crazy. And it was like some. Uh, it was in England. It was England. It's some fetish. Yeah. It was... <laughs> Fucking legend, dude. I'm informed. I think I have a responsibility to say what I think, and I think many people agree with that, and I think the fundamental consequence of that around the world has been massively beneficial to people. So oh, yes. I, think, I think, number one, what the hell, and number two, <laughs> bring it on. What and the hell? Wow, that's a good plan of action. Step one, what the hell? <laughs> Step two, bring it on. <laughs> Step three, <laughs> take some Xanax. Step four, have a nap. <laughs> See what happens, because I will make absolutely every bit of this public in a way that the college and the courts can hardly even imagine. So, <laughs> what a dick. Away we go. So, that's how I'm doing. <laughs> that's how you're doing. Okay, but good. No. Did you were you listening, <laughs> did Michaela? You, did you just zone out the whole time? <laughs> it looked like she did, kind of. <laughs> yeah, but good. You know, I mean, I didn't look, the court decision was worse than I thought it would be. I was already pessimistic. I figured the court would take the coward's way out and basically upbraid the college for procedural inadequacy because one of the things Shut up. Dummy. Uh, let's see here. Jordan says, what rules? He does that again? Oh, yeah. What rules? What rules? Yeah, yeah, perfect. That, it's a great thing to <laughs> highlight, you know. It's, it's like, well, you have this fundamental right, but... Well, but what? What rules? There's what? There's a rule, eh? There's sons a rule. What rules? Right? I don't what believe rules, in rules. That bitches. the College of Psychologists has 
that I can't criticize Justin Trudeau on Twitter. That's I don't think that was one of the things you told I people. Searched, to, is that you yeah, said I, you, the kill yourself thing pretty explicitly. Right. I searched Justin Trudeau in the complaint. I never seen that once. Dude, he's such a fucking liar. What the hell, man? Because if he said what he was really being uh, reprimanded for, everyone would be like, oh, yeah, you definitely shouldn't do that. <laughs> like, you're 100% in the wrong. All right. They said, you've been telling people to kill themselves? <laughs> As a clinical psychologist? Bitches. That's a rule, is it? And if someone anywhere in the world complains about the fact that I've criticized Justin Trudeau, let's say, that all of a sudden that's a rule, even though it wasn't a rule. And Bro, you were like, I don't even know. He's just rambling. He's making shit up. He does talk about another politician, Kathleen McKenney, who he calls a thing. That's in the complaint. A thing? A thing. He, called, a he thing. refers to her as a thing. Is that a, is she like a... Uh, Trans non or something? Or binary, binary or trans, yeah. I, I'm, uh, I think that's probably a safe guess. I would think so, too. <laughs> and I would assume that would be like a super transphobic yeah. comment. Uh, there's a donation the connections. from uh, somebody who says, Canada doesn't have the same freedom of speech as the U.S. does. Our Constitution never explicitly states freedom of speech, only thought, belief, and expression. I mean, I'm not familiar enough with like the Canadian Charter to know what the nuance of that is but i mean regardless like here in the united states it's like there are we we have freedom of speech in the bill of rights but there are still reasonable limits on the bar right the bar you have no right to control what i write you yeah. have no right i mean it's, it's just nonsense mckenney the person he called a thing is queer and the first non-male openly lgbt person to serve on ottawa's city council well, that's really fucked up we dude. called it they are non-binary and use they them pronouns. Well, yeah, you're really I mean, why? Why Florida. why do that? Right. Also, this was mentioned uh <coughs> Dr. Peterson appeared to be engaging in degrading comments about a former client and making demeaning jokes on the Joe Rogan experience. It can express concern that by referring to Elliot Page as her and by their former name and by calling Catherine McKenney, an appalling, self-righteous, moralizing thing <laughs> that he might uh, be sending the wrong message. I don't get it, man. He's just outright lying. He's just a propagandist at this point, like straight up. So if the college wants to re-educate me, they're more than welcome to try. I love when he gets angry. But if yeah. they think they're going to do it in secret, they've got another thing coming. What the Dude, why do you fuck get... are you talking about? Again, he he's he's trying so hard to conjure in people's mind a fucking white Death. operating room right. from 1984 <laughs> where right. they're you know torturing him, uh, brainwashing him. You know what I mean? Yep. It, 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 it. There's no see like this is all this was big news. Big we're, news. We're looking at like all of the court filings. You could just look them up. There's, That's why he needs no his title to make any of this secret. <laughs> yeah. That's why he needs a title because without it, he's just this dude in this crazy suit with his own signature on the lapel. <laughs> yeah. I, I keep scene. my name here because I frequently forget <laughs> the Xanax affect my short term memory. <laughs> it's a reminder. I look in the morning and I huh. Oh, well, it's me. It's George. It says Peterson. That's me. Calms me down. Who is that man? I don't recognize myself. I'm red. Turned so red. I was never this red. I was a white man. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm a red man. Every morning I jump scare myself. Some have even called me a tan man, by golly. Dimly. But that's still Caucasian, so don't even try me, bucko. Here. But then I see my name on my lapel, and it brings me great comfort to know my own name. Median. And then I go to work. 
where I look in the mirror again and see my name. And it brings me great comfort because I'm lost and confused. Bucko. And women. I may have found the part of the complaint uh, why he's referring to climate change, although it's not directly climate change, but it is, he did make a comment that was uh, related to uh, pollution. Go ahead. Um, that was specifically singled out. Would you like to hear what he said? Love to. This was on Jordan uh, or on the Joe Rogan show as well. Uh, speaking about air pollution and child deaths, Dr. Peterson said, "It's just poor children, and the world has too many people on it anyway." Whoa! He said that. That's a quote. He he does bring that part up. He brings that part up, and he's like, uh, "They used that, which was clearly a joke against me." That's like the only specific. Can we I pull recall. up? I want to see him saying that. Let me see if I can I've find it. I've got to. Yeah. That's crazy. Our, Still not a great joke. If you're, uh, you know. Are Rogan's old episodes still on YouTube, or do they pull all that shit down when they went to Spotify? I think I it's think all down. It. Uh, it might be kind of hard to find then, because it's only... Mm. Wait, Joe Rogan's apps? They're still up. The, the old <laughs> Joe Rogan so. episodes? Yeah. I wasn't sure if they pulled them when he... But this was a switch up by one, I think. Mm, let's see. It was in... Uh, Oh, you're right. Oh, this was more recent than I thought. I thought, yeah. Oh, this is another appearance. I see. Yeah, it was in January of 2022. So, yeah, it's on Spotify. It's probably not going to be on YouTube. Rip. I'd love to go through the complaint and just actually list all the stuff that they are reprimand reprimanding him for. Because mm -hmm. they all are bangers. <laughs> Four children are a fucking joke. And I think it's important to note that if he wants to keep his license, all he has to do is just take the course and it could all go away. But he refuses. They want me to the take principal. an <laughs> They want me to take an online course with multiple <laughs> right. choice answers takes approximately 15 minutes. <laughs> Won't do it. Poor kids, man. If a if a poor child dies in Uganda, do you even notice? No. We need less mouths to feed, damn it. I've never done anything. Let them eat each dogs. other. They're so damn hungry. They're like, um, that's a little insensitive for a psychologist to be saying, I'll kill you. First of all, that's a hell of a way to put it. Isn't it? This is interesting, too. Peterson him, uh, identified himself on Twitter as a clinical psychologist in 2022. This appears to be changed from 2020 when, although a member of the college at the time, he stated that he opted not to advertise this title on his Twitter. <laughs> that was a good call. Should have stuck with that. So he later went out of his way to put that into his bio and present himself more openly. And I can see then why they would be like, yeah, let's not do that. Right. Fair play. I, I like when he gets angry, though, man. He's really so scary, huh? Well, wow. with that, it was nice talking to you. <laughs> Have fun at the presidential debate tonight. I like your suit. I like how she's just like, I'm wrapping it up. All right. I'm getting flashbacks to my childhood. Angry Jordan is not. <laughs> it's too much for me. Oh, thank you. Isn't it ridiculous? Yeah, it's good. You stand out. I like it. Very subtle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I thought I'd blend in with the crowd tonight, you know. You nice. know, the Americans, they're very theatrical, right? This Everything Americans do is theatrical. <laughs> you're so, theatrical, Yeah, you're the bro. most fucking theatrical man no, Nobody else is dressed like that. No, he's a piece of theater, walking. <laughs> he's a theater girl. He's a theater girl. Yeah. He's the worst type of theater girl. Right. He's one of the ones that give us a bad rep. Mm. Not us, girl. We need to disbar him from we theater. Do. <laughs> That's... <laughs> That's the title we need to get rid of. Yeah. Central debate. It's theater of the best sort. And I'm down here to have an adventure, you know? And so, and it's what I should be concentrating on. Look at this. And my fire? writing, you know? It's fire and ice. Looks like he's showing that he has, he's bomb strapped to his chest. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's funny. Fire and ice, you know? Freak. Just like the mind, my mind. Sometimes it's fire and sometimes it's ice. 
It's like my coffee. Sometimes it's hot. Sometimes it's cold. That's right. Sometimes it's like the corpses of dead Ugandan children. <laughs> Sometimes it's hot. And at other times, it's cold. <laughs> There's Jordan for you guys. Psychotic freak. <laughs> Dude, it's crazy also how, like, this man is clearly unwell. And the Daily Wire is just straight up so happy to just capitalize on this very unwell man. And they love it, too. They, I'm sure they're just riding the way, man. Mm -hmm. you, but you know behind the scenes, Ben Shapiro and his partner Jeremy, whatever, are like, he's, he is fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, how could you not? I don't know. But, yeah. I mean, they also employ Matt Walsh, who right. is a yeah, weird yeah, pedophile yeah. dude. So, Jordan Peterson has a Twitter suit with a tie featuring Elon Musk's head. Oh, God. How much you spend on that? Because it's not called Twitter anymore. Mm. Should tell you about my suit first. Oh my god. That, maybe you don't that is actually the worst tie I've ever made, I think. And uh, this is a Twitter suit. In the Twitter suit. Here, there's a bunch of comments from Twitter about another suit this company made for me. This company is LGFG. And they came to me a couple of months ago and asked me if I wanted them to make me some suits. Is this part of your campaign to be taken more seriously or... I'm confused about the intention here. <laughs> One for each of the rules from 12 Rules for Life. And uh, they sent a little deck of creative ideas, and they were very creative. And so I thought, well, sure, why not? Cam, so I hope you're editing that Fire and Ice one to have C4 on it. <laughs> <laughs> you're already on it, right? I'll, I'll get on it right now. Wait, can that be perceived as us th like threatening him? I don't think so. It's, it's just a little, like, I don't know. You I know the joke is that he's doing it, but if somebody right. clips that out of Listen, context, if, if you're know. if you're worried, then we'll skip it. Uh, I just maybe we can. Have I have the same anyways. exact thought. Don't get me wrong, yeah. but I just feel like throwing that up on screen might bite us in the ass. 